Orem brothers Nick and Leif Arrhenius are the best Utah discus throwers ever. Well, since so their coach, in, anyway. He had a really wide, nice finish. While he still looks pretty He's good today, done. in his prime, Jay Sylvester was, well, the best in the world. I think I was blessed to be a, a, quite a competent thrower. Competent? In 1961, the Tree Mountain native broke the first of his four world records, became the first to throw over 60 meters, and won the first of his six national championships. My first world record. The monkey's off your back. <laughs> yeah. You finally uh, achieved something you've been trying to do for a long, long time. And really wondering if you'd be able to make that step that no one else has been able to make. It's kind of loaded here and then, bam. In 1964, the Utah State University grad won the first of his three straight U.S. Olympic trials and went to the first of his four Olympic games. And we actually went to five. I was a coach in, in 2000 uh, also. And look what LJ brought back from Munich in 1972, the Olympic silver medal. Two things allowed me to be in, in four Olympics. One, my wife, she allowed me to throw. <laughs> and the other was uh, certainly blessings, talent base. Sylvester reclaimed the world record in 1968. And three years later, a full decade after his first world mark, he became the first to throw over 70 meters. It had pretty good hang time for a minute. We were taught in my era that you were kind of all-American boys to do this, and you had to function at a very high standard of, of conduct and uh, and be, you know, the kind of person you ought to be in, in all respects as an athlete. I don't know that that's taught so much anymore. LJ is in the U.S. Track and Field Hall of Fame. He retired after 30 years as professor of physical education at BYU. Right now middle. his focus is on his family, yeah. a little golf, and coaching. Current protégés Nick and Leif finished 1-2 at this year's Mountain West Championships. I've always liked the way he coaches. I mean, he's not really a dictator. He doesn't say, you know, this is the way you have to throw to throw far, or this is the only way. He's really adamant about how you're feeling, how is the rhythm. He knows that there's not, you know, a silver bullet of how to throw the disc as far. All right, all right, all right. Now, I hope that felt good, because it sure looked good. It's not the medals, records, and titles, but rather the talent, poise, and old world philosophy he passes on to this new generation that will be L.J. Sylvester's legacy. If life could be teaching something you know, helping people improve in what they are struggling with, and at the same time combining that with a, a process that helps you become a better human being, I don't suppose there's anything much better than that. Thank you.